a home for trees inhabited by people. In the heart of Milan, two new residential towers are hosting humans and 2,000 trees. Vertical forest is a very simple thing. It's a way to concentrate in a very small urban surface, thousands of plants. Architect Stefano Boeri drew inspiration from the fabled hanging gardens of Babylon. By teaming up with engineers, botanists and ethnologists, he made his green dream come true. We have here 21,000 plants, basically. So it's equivalent of uh, three hectares, 30,000 square meters of a real forest in a very small surface of a super dense urban environment. Art lover Simona Pizzi and her family were the very first residents of the tower. Having these plants right on our terrace, real trees, has certainly had a positive impact on my life. In the winter, we use less heating thanks to this greenhouse effect, and in the summer, we use less air conditioning because the air is cooler. The vertical forest has now become a symbol for a much wider project. Milan recently announced a plan to plant 3 million trees by 2030. That's 30% more than are currently growing. The vertical forest is a, an effective symbol of the willingness to change by Milan and by the cities. We need uh, to build now green belt all around Milan and also within the city of Milan to have uh, more fresh uh, air to remove pollution. And it's not just Milan. With the UN planning to cover half a million hectares of land with new urban forests by 2030, urban forestry is starting to be taken seriously by cities around the world.